Honorable Minister of Education, Science and Technology, Professor Adal Makenda, the uh, two High Commissioners, uh, Engineer Richard Masika, Chairman Governing Council, uh, Dr. Petro Pasha, uh, members of the faculty, dear friends. Namaskar, Hawari, very good afternoon to all of you. Uh, also, my best wishes for Sabha Sabade. Uh, and uh, let me say what a great pleasure it is to be uh, here at DIT, at the ICT Center, with which we have a long and obviously a very good association. Uh, I would uh, like to uh, thank Dr. Pasha for the, uh, for the uh, presentation. It was uh, very useful, very educative, uh, and uh, it really brought out the very good collaboration that we've had uh, in the field of uh, education uh, and the IT sector. Uh, I uh, can see that uh, the, the centerpiece of that collaboration is the Param supercomputer. I was very impressed by the diversity of its users uh, and the fact that we've had 11,000 students using it is itself a statement uh, of both its relevance as well as the commitment in the DIT to put it to good use. Now, the Param supercomputer, I think all of you know, is, um, is extremely well rated in the world. Uh, and besides the DIT, the other ICT center in Tanzania where it is used is the Nelson Mandela African Institute of Science and Technology Minister, as you mentioned, in Arusha. And that has been in, I think, in use since 2016. So, uh, Today, uh, for me, this visit uh, to a center with which we had a long association uh, is uh, something uh, very useful. Uh, I have uh, absorbed the message that, uh, you know, with technology, as technology marches on, uh, I think uh, organizations and cooperation also need to march on, uh, need to be upgraded, and uh, I certainly uh, would encourage uh, Minister uh, you and the government to have a conversation with the High Commissioner to see what can we do together because I think part of the maturing is also that it becomes increasingly collaborative and, and that is really the kind of partnership that uh, we would uh, like to bring. Now, uh, I am myself not a technology person, I am a political science international relations person. So when I look uh, today at uh, these relationships at a center such as this, for me, these are all expressions of what is clearly the rise of Africa. Yeah. The same journey that we went through in India and other parts of Asia, today we are seeing Africa also embark on that journey. Uh, and, uh, you know, we can see that politically, we can see it economically, we can see it developmentally, socially. But what is important if it is to be sustainable is that it must be technological and it must be backed up by human resources. So we are entering the era of a knowledge economy uh, and uh, just like the rest of the world, I think uh, uh, obviously Tanzania would also have aspirations to prepare for it. Uh, and uh, clearly, Minister, your remit, your jurisdiction is the one that will lead that effort. Now, uh, this center, of course, is an expression of good history between us, uh, but uh, I think uh, we both want not just good history, we also want a strong, a better future. Uh, and uh, 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 in terms of the larger relationship, uh, this visit, I have seen statements of political solidarity, I have seen examples of economic cooperation, I just came from an important water project which supplies water to the city. Uh, it, is a, it is a very practical outcome of uh, development partnership. But as I said, it's really education and technology which is the real thing. And that is why uh, I'm immensely pleased that I had an opportunity to witness uh, the signing of the MOU to set up uh, the IIT Madras campus in Zanzibar. Uh, and, uh, I think uh, uh, all of you know that the IIT, the Indian Institute of Technology, is uh, one of India's premier brands. 
not just premier technology branch or education branch, it is our, our overall premier branch as well. And uh, today its role in, in uh, developing uh, and deploying technologies, in spurring innovations, in encouraging startups is immense. Uh, and we have, of course, two senior representatives uh, who will have the responsibility of getting uh, this campus off ground uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, and I look forward uh, to its rapid development. I certainly assure you, Minister, that we will be tracking it from India uh, as well. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, this is again something which uh, we must work uh, very wholeheartedly. But I also hope that this campus and DIT would develop a relationship. I think that is something which would uh, also be very useful. And uh, I would like to take the occasion to express uh, my sincere appreciation and those of my colleagues 